College football week two. Can we keep it rolling here on the Power Five? Bet on it. On an outstanding 51, 24, and three run with our free plays on this show. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. That way you're not missing any of this great free content. I have four underdogs for you on Saturday. Remember last week I said my two favorite underdogs were North Texas and Sam Houston State. Both of them won outright and covered the spread by a combined 49 points. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts on these selections. I'm going to be getting to those four underdogs in just a moment. But first, we start with the biggest game on Saturday, Texas at Michigan on Fox noon Eastern time. I am going with the Texas team total under 24 and a half. Now, do I think Michigan wins this game? Probably not. Can they cover the plus seven and a half? Possibly. My concern, though, with the Wolverines is the offense. Did not look strong up front against Fresno State. Averaging just 4.4 yards per carry in that game. And remember, a defensive touchdown was needed to get to the final, to get the final margin, pardon me, to 20 points. However, remember what I said earlier this week on the morning wager. This Michigan defense has allowed more than 24 points in only one game since the start of the 2022 season. So look for Texas, win or lose, to struggle to put points on the board Saturday in the big house. Number two, here's a more under-the-radar game you need to be looking at uh, in the noon Eastern time window. Army plus three against Florida Atlantic. Always love a service academy catching points, but first let's focus on the FAU side where Tom Herman does not exactly have them believing in Boca Raton. Uh, you go back to last year, guys, the Owls have now lost five consecutive games. They did get the cash last week in East Lansing as double-digit underdogs, but that was largely thanks to Michigan State keeping them in the game. Two red zone turnovers, uh, with two red zone turnovers, I should say. I think Cam Fancher, the quarterback for FAU, he just isn't very good. Uh, they were not sad to see him go at Marshall, that's for sure. Uh, meanwhile, Army, they've won five straight games dating back to last year. A little unarmy like though in scoring late last week to cover the number against FCS Lehigh. I may have to check with my good buddy Mark Zeno to see what's up there. Uh, but I'm going to look to the fact that the Black Knights are going to be fired up to play their first conference game as an AAC member. FAU, after traveling to Michigan State, just a week to prepare for the unique Army offense, and the Owls have rival FIU on deck. Give me the points. Number three, speaking of give me the points, Arkansas. Plus 10 at Oklahoma State is the third play on Saturday's Power 5. I think I'm on an island here, guys. I get it. This line did get as low as 7.5 earlier in the week, so it looked like some people agreed with me. But now, the numbers steam back up to double digits. Give me the unranked road dog, though, against a top 25 opponent. Usually value in that situation with the unranked road dog. I know everyone wants to point towards Mike Gundy and his two decades of success in Stillwater. Plus, he's got one of the most experienced teams in the country coming into the 2024 season. But Oklahoma State was actually outgained in conference play last year. So the argument could be made it was a bit of a fraudulent run to the Big 12 title game. I'll make that argument. Plus, if you put on the tape from last week, the Pokes did not tackle well against an FCS opponent, South Dakota State. Now let's look at Arkansas for a second. Bobby Petrino back in Fayetteville as the OC. Petrino known for two things. We do not need to get into one of those here. But the second is that the man knows offense. Last week against Arkansas Pine Bluff, admittedly an overmatched team, the Razorbacks scored a touchdown on all 10 offensive possessions. I like that. It's not going to be that easy this week, obviously. But uh, the Hogs are live in this game. Woo, pig suey is uh, how I'm looking at that one. Let's continue to take points. Number four, another matchup of an Arkansas school against an Oklahoma school. Only this time, I'm back in the Oklahoma school, Tulsa. Plus eight versus Arkansas State. Arkansas State cheated last week to defeat Central Arkansas. You don't believe me? Let me read this tweet to you, okay? Quote, Sunbelt announces its video review officials made an incorrect call on Arkansas State's game-winning touchdown pass for Central Arkansas with two seconds left. The review officials incorrectly ruled the play a TD leading to Arkansas State's 34-31 win. Shout out to my buddy Keith Landry, aka Bayou Bets on Twitter for sending me that. And considering that information, okay, the final score, I don't want to be laying this many points with the Red Wolves against an FBS opponent, okay? Tulsa, I think, is a team that's trending up under second-year head coach Kevin Wilson, believe it or not. Per Phil Steele 
Of the top 15 recruits in program history, five are in the most recent class for Tulsa. So I like the new influx of talent he's bringing in. And I definitely like the fact the Golden Hurricane are 26-10-2 ATS as a road dog the last nine seasons. Give me Tulsa plus the points there. One more to get through, then I'm going to be letting you know how you can get all of this weekend's plays, college football, NFL, and MLB for just $49. The fifth and final play of Saturday's Power 5 is going to be Utah State plus 28.5 versus USC. Ugly, I get it. Yet very similar to the play on Northern Illinois against Notre Dame I gave out earlier in the week here on the Power 5. It's very simple, guys. It's a big letdown spot for USC after that big win the Trojans had over LSU on Sunday. Short week won't help the Trojans at all. Uh, matter of fact, I think it's a hindrance. This number, it opened on the other side of 28. You have to think SC would not have been bet up had they not won the coin flip game in Vegas. I wonder what the spread is if they lose there. Well, we don't have to wonder because uh, USC won. Nevertheless, I think Utah State keeps this close. History says they will because USC head coach Lincoln Riley, just 13-20 and 20 ATS all time as a favorite of at least 21 points. I wanted to give something for you late night degenerates out there. So Utah State plus 28 and a half. It is, we now recap the Power 5 for Saturday, College Football Week 2. Play number one, Texas team total under 24 and a half. Play number two, Army plus three against Florida Atlantic. Play number three, Arkansas plus 10 against Oklahoma State. Play number four, Tulsa plus eight against o Arkansas State. And number five, Utah State plus 28 and a half versus USC. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Also, if you already haven't done so, go ahead, smash that like button. Always appreciate the support. Now, if you're looking for my top bets on Saturday, okay, we always love giving you the free winners, but if you're looking for my top bets on Saturday, head on over right now to wt.buzz slash bp, where for just $49, you can get every college football winner for Saturday, every NFL winner for Sunday, and any MLB I release this weekend. You're also covered all the way through Monday. That's right. The three-day all-access at wagertalk.com has been discounted to just $49. Three days worth of winners. Doesn't get much better than that. Oh, by the way, I'm on a 16-7-1 all-sports run the last 13 days with premium plays at 69% overall. Includes an 8-1 and one record with totals. Uh, wouldn't you know, my 4% best bet for Saturday, it's a total in college football. All three college football totals I've released thus far uh, this season, including the under in LSU-USC, have cashed by double digits. So uh, reason to get on board there. I've also got two live underdogs you're going to want to get on for Saturday. Going back to last season, gang, I'm on a 22-10 and 10 run with all college football selections. So make sure you head over to wt.buzz.bp. This weekend, for all your winners, my NFL package for Sunday, already posted as well, off to a winning start in the pros, cash the first half under 23 and a half, eh, just that close, uh, in Ravens Chiefs. Remember, just $49 for three full days of winners. Okay, I think I've made my point there. You also want to remember to subscribe to the Way to Shock YouTube channel. That's a point I have yet to make today. Uh, of course, not only do I do the Power Five, every day here on the YouTube channel, but you can't forget about the Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zinno every Monday through Friday. That's more free winners. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, do that right now. That will do it, though, for the Saturday edition of the Power Five. Let's keep it rolling, guys. Until next time, let's catch some tickets.